Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. We've just had the new update. I'm going to run a new version of Lego Majori and the Human Comedy. And with that folks, we have to understand that they've made some changes to the bop. So your car performance will have changed in this race. The car we're going to use today is the Mercedes AMG GT320. This has received the biggest change in the bop. Whilst I haven't got a reference to show you, the PP has gone up by about 1.6. If I remember the details correctly, that's been from a change in brake horsepower and I think a weight change. So that's going to give you a slight advantage using this car. It's a bopped race as we talked about, so there isn't much more you can say. It says you can use intermediate and wets, but we're only going to choose one type of tyre and we're going to go and attempt a two stop. Let's get to the track. So settings for the race today will be assists. Crash control 1, default ABS, everything else off. Controller settings will be controller steering sensitivity 5. Now somebody did ask me what the changes will be. If you change it more to 1, it's going to be more likely to oversteer. If you change it to 10, it's going to be more likely to understeer. So I've left it at 5 in the middle. I probably need to do a bit more work now that they've changed some things to try and find out whether it's 5 or 4 or 3 or six or seven but that might be different for different cars so i'm just leaving it where it is for now i know it's been two years with the game but we only found out about that four or five months ago force feedback max torque seven force feedback sensitivity seven that's slightly a heavier um more more feedback based setup uh, i've found over the game over the last sort of 12 weeks or so that i need to have that heavier feel or more feedback setting Let's have a look at the ranking board. We don't usually look at the ranking. We can see there we've all done 30 laps. Mr. Maguire top. The fastest guys are now pushing in 31 laps. I've never made an attempt at hitting that 31 lap because I don't think I'm fast enough. I haven't really found a way of getting any closer to those 31s. I haven't found the strategy that works that way. Um... I can do a two stop, I can do a one stop, but I haven't found that 31st lap. And I'm probably 45 seconds away from that, that lap. So if you're first time doing this race, you've got to really go and pick up the car that you find yourself fastest with. If you're controller auto, you're going to find this race tremendously difficult until you can run consecutive laps and get those laps down to a relatively quick time. If you can do 158s on controller auto, you're going to be good for this race. So let's have a crack and see where we go. I'm going to do a two-stop strategy today. I'm not going to run any assists other than TC1, as we've just said. So let's see how this goes, and we'll, we'll see you at the end. Got to repeat the entire bit of conversation. Here we go, then. You're looking for the braking mark on the top right-hand side. Breaking mark on the top right hand side, it's the end of the fence. Come on. Better start this time. I tapped the back end of that car and it just made the front the, the back end go light. Biting it. Just get this first lap under a belt. We'll get the car settled, get the tyres up to temperature. Then we'll start to give you a rundown on what's going on. Such a shame we wrecked. I was well into that vibe of commentary flow. It's completely messed with my head now. Mr Huffman will put you behind us. So I used to find this car particularly quick. It feels particularly quick now. It flew through there nicely. That's my worry. That corner is the one that really tells whether a car is capable. Used to really be able to cut that corner, but they've changed the physics now, so... If you cut across the grass, it really unsettles the car. 
that Mr. Rubbler is the one we're chasing down. We're on a two stop, so the car's got to do 10 laps, which it looks like it will do on this fuel now. Easily 12 laps up, so we'll do 13 as we shoot off the track and almost blow it. No good. The 208 outlap is poor. Car feels very active. And as you can see, I've only ever driven this car 90 miles prior, so. One would question whether I've actually done this race in this car before. Fastest lap of the race with Mr. Yamanaka after the first lap. We were purple by 1.5 seconds, and it's the second lap. Everybody's going to get purples. We'll just see where we are at the end. Try and hook across the top of that apex there. That's the part of the track where you're so much quicker than the AI. Need to get that split down to 101. There's another car, well, there's the two cars together that I find particularly difficult from the front runners on this race. The Audi R8 and the Lambo, they, they for me, they're very difficult to drive around this circuit. Something about the bop just makes them unfriendly. We've actually put in a clean lap this time. We're up to seventh place. It looks like we're going to get that position before the end of this straight. And we're with Mr. Rubbler, the one we're racing against. So if we can get past him in short order, we're going to start to make big gains. Mr. Yamanaka, he is uh, on a three stop. He'll run out of juice fairly well towards the end. The third stop will kill his attempt. Can't let Mr. Rubbler go. If you find this corner difficult, the trick is to break in a straight line before it. Mr. Rubbler is just about to get hung out to dry. He's about to tap me across the corner. No, he's not. We made our way through there, nicely. In front, the Mazda is the very first car I ever won this race with. And it still sits as a very capable competitor. It's a very capable car. If you are struggling on your controller auto, it's got good economy, good tyre wear, and it's not too aggressive with the throttle. So... You won't suffer massive amount of wheel spin and spin out on the rear. What you are likely to suffer with is wearing front tyres. But it is it's a good car and it sounds good. Your ears bleed after a, after an hour of racing it, but So Mr. Rubbler is on R6, he's chasing hard, he's with us. He's gonna try and make the pass on the inside and he's Donked us. Oh, that was aggressive. Mr. Cookerman lost a couple of places. The R8's come past us. Oh, my Lord. Filthy, dirty dogs. We'll do a bit back. We don't mind. It's going to get a bit dodging for the next couple of laps, but we'll give it back. We will. The R8's pushing up our inside now. We got front bumper damage, front aero damage, so oh, we've only been racing eight laps and we had a right session. 
fastest lap was with Mr. Yamanaka at 158.375. He's half a second faster than any of my previous laps. So let's see if we can get a clean chasey race in, a clean chase lap. You can you can split the sausage if you need to, folks. Straddle the sausage. And we're up with Mr. Innestrosa now. And we'll get Rubelar back. Hopefully sort of lap seven-ish we'll be back with him. It'll take a little while to close that gap down, I think. He's going to have a hammer down. We don't want to destroy our towers tyres too much. It was a bit of a... a lungy manoeuvre he made, I guess. I didn't have to close the door quite so much, but... I don't know if there's two lines through that corner, to be honest. I went a bit deep there, didn't I? I let off the brake in second just to let the car roll through and I it was too much. Rubelar takes the fastest lap at 158.136. You can use all the runoff there without penalty. They let you run wide. Mr. Innestrosa, you're next. Rubelar is pushing on after Beauvoir. Let's see if we can uh, chase him down as well. Purple by almost a hundred, well, nine hundredths. I don't think I went to sixth gear then, did I? No, and that caused me to F up because I didn't get the right amount of gears into that corner either. Gonna short shift a bit with it and get it up to the higher gears. So, fourth place currently. Still a long way to go. We're five laps into a 30 lap race. Tyres are looking relatively good. We should maintain the grip on these mediums. He says as he fails to stop for turn one. Gonna have to break a little bit earlier for there now. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. She's fighting me. Tire temperatures up, I think. So there's Beauvoir and Rubelart, all in the same window. Yamanaka is probably two laps away from his stop, his first one. So we were hoping to chase Rubelart down, but it looks like he's going to have to lead going into the pit stops. This is going to work out interesting, isn't it? A bit of dirty driving from Rubelar has um, certainly opened up the stakes. He's 4.2 seconds ahead. We made the change to sixth this time round. Had to press on the brakes a bit more there. Can't. I don't feel I can attack that... Uh, corner as we used to. He's pulled out 0.3 of a second through that corner. C 
see if we can apply the pressure back. We've taken that 0.3 back now. Over the months, they certainly have made this race tougher, without a doubt. It is um, it's becoming harder and harder and harder to win it, in my eyes. Maybe I'm just a bit casual with it because I know I've done it so often, but... That's what makes it good, to be able to find the car. If the cars change every so often... See, they've nerfed the uh, the Evo. The, the Evo, I call it the Evo, but it's the Endurance. The BMW M6 Endurance, that's been nerfed this time round. But probably not for the AI. Only for us humans, of course. We're doing the 59s. We're close to the 58s. We've took a second out of him. I think he lost half a second. We gained half a second. I noticed we were purple half a second, so... There we go, we're almost purple by a second, so... Just starting to get it together. Lap 6, lap 7. But he's still got a 3 second advantage on us. Is this a 57? It is, and it's a 57 and a half. That will give Fraga something to chase. Mr. Fraga will be pushing for that lap challenge. Even Gallo will come in in the second half of the race and try and beat that time. 56 is a possible. And there they are, Beauvoir and Lubrelar, just three and a half seconds ahead. We'll see if we can uh, just close the door to them just a little bit more. Who are uh, just a little bit? Gina G. That's who that was. Breaking on that flash of light at the end of the uh, the wall there. Oh, the back end started to come round then. Ron Lappe. I'm expecting Yamanaka to go to the pits relatively soon. That'll leave a situation where I'm chasing Beauvoir and Rubelard. They're together. It, does it look like... Oh, there's smoke there. Rubelar is about to make the move on Beauvoir. Beauvoir is my teammate today, so I'm expecting him to do the dirty on Rubelar just for me. Has he gone round the outside? No, it was. Uh, he's got past him now. Yamanaka stayed out. He's probably going to lap nine then. Well, that's obvious. Eight seven, our last lap. Well, tyres are halfway cooked. We've got two laps left.
the back end just started to go then on the throttle Woo. So Mr. Beauvoir lining up nicely. Is Yamanaka going to the pits this time round? He has, he's gone to the pits. Just the one lap earlier than we will go. Oh, Beauvoir's gone as well. My teammate clears out of the way. And gives me the opportunity to chase down Rubilar. We're going to pit at the end of this lap. I think we could be taking the apex much deeper on, uh, on turn one. We could be a car's width across there easily. So we're just four seconds behind Rubelar. He's been managing to keep that lead. Again, we could have got deeper into that apex, I think. So, can't forget, we're going to pit this lap. We've got plenty of fuel left. I don't want to go one more lap just to try and force the, like, the overcut or undercut. We'll let him do that if he wants to carry on. We'll stick to our plan, 10-10. And then we'll uh, see where that goes. Let's take to the pits this time. He's carried on, right, good stuff. So we'll take the mediums and we'll fuel up to 10.2 laps, even though we don't need to. I think we could do 9.7, but... We'll get a bit of a sweat on if we choose 9.7, I think. I don't know if they've changed the refueling speed. It feels incredibly slow incredibly slow 10.2 there we go coming out we're in 11th place 35 38 seconds behind him feels like lots more grip but we've got less fuel than we started the race with so the car should be faster overall we put in a 57 and then we were running 58s for the last couple of laps so the pace has come we've built up a lot of the cars in front of us are on a one stop or a one stop then a splash and dash which doesn't work for us in this game the way the refueling works it's so slow that genuinely it doesn't it doesn't pay to pit You'd think the one stop was the way to go because you pit once and you refuel once but you take the whole tank. You'd think that's probably about right. You work the maths out, you do 15 laps of the fuel 
when you pit the once. And if you're pitting twice for 10 laps at a time, you're going to take 20 laps of fuel. So probably the one stop is the way to win the 31st lap or to get the 31st lap. Rubbelar's gone to the pits then. He was on 26% of fuel. I think we were on 33, so he's going to have to take a bit more. This session we've got to be on the gun because uh, we can't we can't give away much more to Rubbelar. I don't know if we'll get a penalty for that. Rubbelar is taking fuel. He still is. We're past him. So the undercut worked on this occasion. He filled up to 100% as well. He filled up all the way. So he's got the opportunity to run really long or run short and not take all the fuel. Which will give him a really rapid pit stop second time round. We know we're taking 10 laps of fuel. Rubbelar's behind us so we know he's going to make gains on us all we've got to do is put some of those cars that are in front of us behind us and give him some cars to overtake but a lot of these guys are going to pit anyway and move out of our way which is I don't want to have to overtake them then they move out of Rubbelar's way by pitting that would uh really just be advantageous to him so we might have to get a bit what's the word defendy against Rubelart we should be quicker than him because he's carrying more fuel We will see, there's Yamanaka who was uh, leading the race up to lap 9. He's had his coattails clipped by the looks of it. We've just managed to put another second on top of Rubble R, so happy with that. These guys are running at some pace, you know. They feel incredibly quick. I couldn't get the car to stop at all then. It was a bit of a divey overtake, but the front end felt like it just locked up. The ABS light is on a lot, isn't it? What we can't see now, having overtake Yamanaka, is the gap to Rubilar, which is a shame. Yeah, that was my one thing I suggested last night. I'd like to see the time gap to every player in that timing list. We know computing time is quite processor heavy, so maybe they haven't done it for that reason, or maybe it's more difficult, but I'm sure it's possible. time relevant to me so I want to see the distance the time wise the time behind me and the time in front that would be nice be able to work that out little tap on the back of the RSO one there we'll just ask him to get out of the way we've got aero damage so that doesn't help First of the three stoppers as a pit. Sorry, first of the one stoppers as a pit. Although, I don't know how you can one stop at that distance. That's got to be delayed two stops, surely. Fastest lap of the race is still ours. As we're attempting to make our way up to sixth place. That's the line we were looking for through that corner. 
Back end got a bit lighty flighty like it just did there. It's a Matson Unger in the terribly good looking RCF. I like the honeycomb effect on the back door, that's really quite good. We had a straight line dive into that corner, try and close the gap. And we're a bit slow coming out the corner, but it did the job that it needed to. Oh, so much quicker than him through there. We got that damage on the front end again. Let's see if we can just split the R8 out. There we go. I didn't want him to tap me out. So there we are, nine seconds behind Inostroza, 11 seconds behind Kukabun. So that's put some people between us and Rubilar. Give him some people to play with, but you watch. Very soon they will pit. And that massive gap will open up behind us for him to just close down as the race progresses. But we're already on. We're already halfway through this stint almost as we're about to go on to lap five. So Kukabun and Innerstroza in front go to the pit. So that opens it up. We're into first place as we come through here. There we go. Still breaking a long way through that corner. Did I mention we've got the fastest lap? A 157.464, which we achieved back on lap seven. That's a Actually a mighty tasty lap time for that early on in the race. Brady is behind us in the R8. We just doubled that lead over Grady up to 3.3 seconds. There's Rubelar, he's in seventh place. So the problem we've got now is those guys between us and him, they're all going to pit. Oh, we're purple. There's an opportunity for us here to uh, increase that fastest lap if we put in a really good final sector. Are we going to do it? There it is, even better time. We outbreaked herself into turn one, so Swillow's gone to the pits. Occasionally, first gear works through that last corner. I say last corner, that corner we just went round. Just helps to pull the nose in and make it turn tighter, but probably the expense of tyre wear. Now what we do know is, is Rubilar is going to short pit at the next pit stop. So we've got to take 10 laps of fuel, he's probably going to take in the region of 4, maybe 4 laps of fuel, so... We really have to push on now and make hay. We're seven seconds above in front of Grady. 
We're on lap 16, so we're over halfway through our stint now. We um, cut that a little bit tight. I'm looking left towards my monitor. Just And there we get the penalty. I thought we might get that. And that was from uh, just looking off screen. It's just a throttle lift though, so no major damage done. Rubbelar's up to fourth. That first lap out of the pits was a decent lap of 57.9. Brady's gone in, so there's just Mats and Unger now between us and Rubbelar. We have a new subscriber, Greg Barmer, thank you very much. That'll be in the video forever. Nine point two seconds ahead of Matsununga, so here's the penalty line coming up. It's just the throttle lift, just as we change gears, so we're just gonna keep a foot down and hammer through it. We won't change up, we will just keep fifth going, and as we hit the down slope, change up to sixth. Feels so much better when you run through those low curbs, the red and whites. Nine point five seconds ahead. Yamanaka's ahead of Rubbelar. Feel like this is a really slow lap. So we've got loads of fuel left, we've got half a lap too much. So we can actually probably take 9.8 at the last fill up as we suggested when we were in there last time. Matsununga has gone to the pit so Yamanaka's just holding Rubbelar back at 11 seconds. That could work for us. We've got the remains of this lap and two more to go. Do we need to put in a 156 to be able to maintain that fastest lap? A 156 seems a long way off. Got it down to first gear into that corner then just to try and slide the car but it didn't work we overshot the apex and ended up with two wheels in the gravel which is never good we're up to 12 second lead though rubbelar is past yamanaka so the question is when will rubbelar pit that is the big question Will he put before us or after us? Itchy nose off my microphone. Doing me in. This car wants to brake just that little bit earlier than my normal braking marker. Yamanak has gone in. Bouvoir has gone in again. 
So my teammate doing a three stop by the looks of it. We've got one more lap to do. A really narrow there. Probably turned in too tight. Just trying to straighten that braking line up. The grip that we had at the start definitely isn't there now. Back end lit up on me, which is never fun. It makes it go, the steering wheel go really light and you can feel it. It's tremendous how it makes you feel that. You know where the, uh, where the car is affected. And another subscriber. Pumping in quite quickly. Alex D as I run it off the track, which is really not what we need to be doing. Right, onto the last lap. I just had a panic then, thinking, should I pit now, should I pit now? No. 10.9 seconds on. That was a 59, which didn't need to be. I'm kind of expecting him to follow us in the pits this lap. He's starting to push. Mr. Gallo goes to the pit as Mr. Gallo has set the fastest lap of 56882. The dirty dog. Well, we're not going to stand for that, are we? That's next stint now. Decent lap that though in the in the uh, what cars he driving? NSX, isn't it? Yes, he's a Honda man. So there's the first car to lap. I don't think we'll be lapping him before the pit stop. We've got the lead back out to 11.8 seconds over Rubilar on this last lap. Maybe he's had a bit of a moment. Don't forget to pit. Pit this time round, Widow. Come on. We're in. 9.8 laps of fuel on the mediums. 9.8 is what we want. Rubila carried on. We're 24 seconds ahead of Lopez. The timer has just ticked off. 9.8 we're looking for. 9.8. There it is. That's going to make it very tight heading for the line. And we've just been donkled. I can't believe it. Can't believe it. Miyazano. Oh dear, that's that's probably the time advantage we had. Let's got a call for a steward's inquiry on that one. I 
I'm not going to give up just yet. That was just unfair. That was rude. All about the timing. We will find an opportunity to uh, bring that back. That's extra distance because the lap we had, well, we had to spin it round. We had to drive it all the way round in a loop, didn't we, to get it back on track. Car really slid into the apex there. Oh, it's all gone to rack and ruin. And that's what makes this race so frustrating for people. You're 40 minutes through the race and the AI just unceremoniously dumps you off. It ruins your thought process. It ruins your confidence. It, it changes the plan. But the heart of a true winner is the fact you could, should be able to recover that situation. Right, let's get control of it. Ah, oh, no, we've blown this completely. I'm trying too much now. No, completely blown it, hasn't it? We get to start and do it again. I'm not redoing it on 40 minutes. I'll do it privately offline. We'll put this one down as a as a loss. Not everyone turns out to be a good one. Said the nun to the vicar. Oh, it just it annoys the living poop out of you though, doesn't it? It really does. Let's see if we can get that fastest lap back anyway. It all depends where we come out against Rubbler. We're probably 15 seconds down, so if he pits this time round. That's what I want to do to Miyazano. And Rubbler's going long by the looks of it. He is. Um, He's running on all that gas that he um, filled up on. Miyazano back to 5.8 seconds ahead. As the end of the day draws in, you can see it's starting to become early, early evening. Wong has gone to the pits. giving up not for any man thirty eight seconds back the rubbler and I'm not able to cut into that not much at all. There he goes, there's Rubbler in the pits. 20% 20, 20 of fuel, so he's got to take some. It's not going to be enough though, I've really got to really, really, really apply myself and get... Get after him.
We've got to pray for some lap cars to get involved. He's taking the fuel now. He's got to 50% and he's away. So we're going to see him drive out the pits. There he is. We've got to chase him down. I don't think we've got a chance. But let's not give up. We're going to use every a bit of available road space. That's Moreno, isn't it? The uh, the lapped car. So he got out in front of Moreno. He's down there. There he is. Lopez is going to pit and leave Rubilar out in front. Miyazano, you're in about the best spot I could hope for. He's just got past the next car, hasn't he? He just got past him. Six seconds is the difference. Pushing too hard. Seven seconds. Come on, boy, wonder. Let's see what you can do. I need a second to lap. Didn't turn in then. We're purple. And there he is. We're going to come across the Alpha and the Ford of Mr. Huffman any minute. Blue flags. There he is. Come on. You've got to hold him up, dude. Fastest lap should be ours. A 156.7. That's done. Come on, Mr. Huffman. You've got to do better than that, holding him up. Mr. Senna is next, isn't it? Is it Senna? Sama? Something like that. I'm really, really, really overdriving this now.
Front end wash out. Oh, it's the Corvette. Hold him up, hold him up, hold him up. Come on. Don't move out of his way, you nugget. Come on. A bit of his side on side action there. Mr. Fontana moves out. Gonna go around the outside. We're there. Now it's between the two of us. Seven minutes to go. You couldn't ask for a more gripping finale, could you? We have the fastest lap, a 156.707, which I thought was going to be a 156.3, but we lost a bit of time through the last sector, I think. How are we going to close up on this dude? How are we going to get there in these last, what is it, last four laps? The valves are going to appear through the bonnet in front of me, aren't they, as I overslow the car using the gear slamming technique. Surprised that the rear axle doesn't lock up and the car just spin. There we go, there's the next AI that we need to assist us with this process. Sanna, that's his name. Rubilar, you're in our sights. Round the outside, there we go. Oh yes, one either side of him. Absolutely tremendous. Is he going to come back at us and give us a fight? Or is he having to fuel save because he really has cut his fuel level too much? Let's not count the chickens too early, let's just make sure we drive this to the end. He's going to catch us back, we know he is. He's not going to give up quite as easily as we do occasionally. This is his time to shine. Here he is, he's coming. He's always going to catch us through this part of the circuit. Yamanaka now goes in for his third stop. Fraga has yet to put in that fastest lap that he normally puts in. Hopefully we'll extend the gap just a little bit here. Getting this corner right. There we go, pulled out half a second. Gone from 1.2 to 1.8. I think he's low on fuel. Because we're now accelerating way, way, way more than he is. Up to 2.3 second lead. I'm trying to use the engine to brake more than I am the actual physical brakes. Changing gear down and just pressing the brakes lightly so we don't lock the car up.
Just overran that corner a wee bit, but it's no drama. 2.6 second lead, two laps remaining. Mr. Beauvoir in for his third stop. Now I'm expecting Gallo, Gallo or Fraga to come in and put in a right heroic lap anytime soon. Put that lead out to now almost four seconds. Back end just coming round on me there. We just managed to catch it. We felt the steering go light, so we lifted the throttle, tapped the brake just a smidgen. Opposite locked it, and we brought it back round. It was just a smidgen of opposite lock, but it was enough. Here we're coming through onto the final lap. Only going to be 30 laps this time. It's not a record attempt. We've got one lap of fuel remaining. Is that in front of us? The guy that tapped us off as we came out the pits. It's Miyazano, isn't it? Or is it Matsununga? I hope it's Matsununga, not Miyazano, because Miyazano will be going to the gravel trap if it's him. I think it's going to be Matsununga based on the, uh, yeah, it's the RCF. You see the back of the car, the shape. Rubilar is just starting to push back. He's just broke it down below three and a half seconds, but then we accelerate out the corner and accelerate away, so... Rubilar looks like he's given up the chase now. He's got too much to do. We were too quick over this final stint. Almost 57s most of the process. There's Matsunonga. Comes out to greet me, says thank you. Happy days. And here we go, this will be the finish of the race folks, we were looking like we were on a real sad boat, but we made it fuel all the way to the end first place, ticked to lap 31, but uh, I don't think we get 31 laps, it calls it 30. And there we have it, wasn't really expecting to push through and win that one, but there it is, the AMG GT3 folks, the one car that got the major bop with update 1.42 it's the car that is certainly capable we beat Robillard by 5.4 seconds we got the fastest lap a 156.707 back on lap 25 we lapped Moreno twice and from 14th place we lapped everybody absolutely tip top what more can I say there you have it folks we'll see you on the next one all the best take care see you now